That's right, guys. OKC Fire tells KOCO5 that the building's standpipes were not functioning. This is a standpipe right here. It's used to bring water in from a fire truck or a fire engine into a large building to a different floor or just a different part of the building, and it's used to help fight active fires. And experts say even during construction, these things should work. An event like this, a fire event like this, should never happen. We have the technology and the knowledge of today. Fire protection engineers Jack Poole and Brandon Wilkerson agreed a building of this size is required to have a range of fire suppression systems to be considered safe and livable. For a building like this, I would say typically the building is sprinklered, and if it exceeds usually about three stories in height, you end up with a standpipe system in the stair enclosures for manual firefighter use. The complex had a standpipe system. However, it was not functioning. The fire department says they were forced to construct an impromptu standpipe, running hose up the building's stairwells. Is there a certain timeline when standpipes should be active? As soon as construction is conceivable enough to install it. OKC Fire says having such a tool could have saved them a lot of time. Time extremely viable when fighting any fire. Why those standpipes were not functioning will be part of the investigation into how the fire began. And this afternoon, Chase Rutledge joined OKC Fire officials in Sky 5 to discuss their strategy on knocking down those flames and still fighting this fire. We'll have that at 6.